Hi, I'm George from Your Construction. I'm the construction super here at the Film Society Project. Uh, we're about to go inside and take a look at the uh, project under construction. Uh, this is the entry vestibule. Um, you can see there's no marquee, but one day there'll be all kinds of signage here telling you what's inside. Box office is right over there on the right. Um, this part of the construction was done by uh, Turner Construction. We inherited this uh, opening along with the glass facade, the restaurant, this whole unique building that's really had a lot of drama to 65th Street and the campus in general. If you follow me inside, we'll uh, take a look at where we're at. So you'll be coming through two sets of glass doors to enter the theater. Once inside, um, we're in the lobby right now. Uh, you might be able to see a little rectangle over there on the right. That will one day be the uh, media wall. Um, hasn't been completely designed yet, but I know they've uh, got something exciting planned for me. Uh, no doubt about it. Uh, over here on your left is the cafe. Uh, cafe will be full of tables and chairs. There's a glass door that separates the cafe from the lobby so that they can isolate it if they, uh, they so desire. Everything is, all the glass doors are going to get tucked into that little garage area over there. So if they uh, want to get them out of the way and just keep it completely open, they can. Uh, down over here, the concession stand's about to be fitted out. We're pretty close to getting ready for that. You want to see the workings of the uh, concession stand. We can just go right over here because I'm allowed to move construction caution tape. Right, so you see this fully tiled area here. Um, all kinds of equipment in here that uh, supports the concession stand and the cafe. Okay, the only difference between the men's and the women's room is it's the same white tile on the walls, the same glass accent tile, same kind of material, actually the same fixtures, everything's the same. The difference is the women have nine facilities and the men only have four and as a father of two daughters I can only applaud that. So back into the lobby um, <coughs> you'll enter the theater two ways um, the amphitheater and theater two will be entered basically through these main doors right ahead of us. <laughs> There's another box office station over here as, weather, as, as well as location for two ticket terminals over here and another ticket uh, terminal on this side. So there's a handicapped bathroom over here. That's the box office where all the goings on are gonna be and the server room that controls uh, a lot of the uh, uh, media and the computers for the space are gonna be housed in there and you can see all the wiring getting ready to be hooked up to the racks. So going down this uh, corridor here, this is where um, theater goers will line up to get into theater two. So right here we have uh, what will one day be the amphitheater. This is gonna be a very unique room, uh, really well designed, a lot of woodwork, a lot of glass. Um, it's really the main focal point of the space, especially when you come in, there'll be a lot of drama when you come down the main stairs. Um, glass all around the sides, all woodwork inside, maple, uh, woodwork um, everywhere, um, bench seating, and most important is that instead of a traditional screen, it will have a 152 inch flat screen TV. Uh, they have promised to show me the Super Bowl on it at one point, but I'm not sure if they're just placating me or they're actually going to do it. The pool up on the plaza is basically uh, right above us. And I actually think that that Henry Moore sculpture is right over our heads right now. So if you follow me right now, we'll be going down into Theater 2. One day there'll be an elevator here uh, to give handicap access to um, different levels in the theater. But as you can see, everything is ramped, so um, handicap accessibility to the theaters is really through the ramps. We're now standing on top of a scaffold uh, that's provided us a, with a dance floor to enable us to complete the construction of the ceiling. Uh, everything you see up here now obviously will be hidden by a, an acoustical ceiling, fabric, fabric wrapped acoustical ceiling panels. But you can see ductwork, sprinklers, conduit uh, for future lighting, uh, AV equipment, everything uh, will be up in the ceiling. So once we've completed all the ceiling work and we have the finished ceiling in, we'll take the scaffold down that will enable us to complete the, uh, the seating, carpeting, etc. from down below. So you're looking through the projection window uh, of Theater 1, 
There's a couple of electricians in there, two, two of the crack electricians on the job, I have to say. Guys that don't ever give me a hard time, for the most part. Uh, and they're, they're installing conduit that's going to carry both power, AV wiring, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, all the components that, uh, make the, uh, that go into making the projection booth. Um, you might have noticed these uh, steel uh, plates over here. And these are going to carry the uh, stainless steel acoustical panels that are going to be hung from here on the two sides of both theaters. So we are now underneath the scaffold uh, of theater two that we were ju just up on. Uh, you can see the seating rises are formed in concrete. The projection window is uh, hidden on the top of that scaffold, but you are standing on the screen uh, right now. Um, one thing that uh, is unique about this theater, you may notice these little small um, pieces of tin ductwork that are coming up through the floor. That's actually where the supply air is going to get pulled up past the seating and then brought up into the ceiling and exhausted back into the equipment. So this is the plenum space below um, theater one. The air, the air conditioned air, is going to get pushed into this theater and basically get pulled up through these uh, openings that are in the floor, these tin openings which we spoke about when we were upstairs. And that air will get pulled up past the patrons up into the ceiling and then returned uh, to return air ductwork to be reconditioned. There is no mechanical equipment, neither in the ceiling or in the theater in any way. The mechanical equipment is far away from here, so there shouldn't be any acoustical issues. And this um, um, also contributes to less air from uh, noise from air moving through the ductwork, since there is no ductwork uh, here for that to happen to. So we're in uh, theater one now, which is the larger of the two um, typical traditional movie screens. And this wall here, which just looks like a little sheetrock wall, is actually an elaborately designed uh, acoustic wall to prevent sound from transmitting through the two spaces. There are a dozen layers of sheetrock on there, um, literally. There's a separation between the two, tons of insulation, so it's actually sitting on a slab that's cut in two, so even vibration can't transmit through the floor slab into the other theater's floor slab. So there's a four inch gap between two walls through the slab and right up into the ceiling. So this is the floor of theater one. There was a big column that would have sat right about over there, which was removed as part of the structural work when this building was, uh, was renovated. Uh, before we got here. Uh, when we go upstairs you'll see the remnants of it but they had to remove that otherwise this would not have been theater one it would have been two theater halves basically. So that's the tour. Um, everybody that's involved in this project both on the design end and on the construction end is very proud of uh, all the work we're putting into it. And I know you'll be happy with it uh, when we're done. See you in the spring.